What's up, everyone? Welcome back into Total War Warhammer 2 with Cetra the Imperishable. So, last episode, we were uh, going to, oh, geez, go deal with Black Tower of Arcan. I'm not looking forward to it. It's going to be a tough fight with those Hyro uh, the Necro Sphinxes, and all the Shabti. Ugh, it's just going to be a nasty, nasty battle. But, you know, we've got to do it. But we were going to go through one intern phase just to heal up a touch on our two little armies. Okay, he's got Gorty coming through. They're mostly just kind of battling. Oh, it looks like... Uh... Yep, they did it. Go on. I figured they would take Gorgazan, the top knots would. <clears throat> Swallow water already. Just had a lovely cheeseburger for dinner that I made on a grill and still got a little cheese in my throat, I think. All right. So we got ammunition, reload, reduction time, and charge bonus. Let's now go for uh, first dynasty plans. I will take that one. Thank you. He is still trying to build up his little army. That's all fine and dandy. Ready, Father. Let's try and assault this. We've succeeded again. Good d deal. Um, Alright, what next? Getting close to immortality. Uh, tough as nails. Yes, that would actually be great. We'll probably go down... Yeah, we'll go down this uh, this yellow line right here. This is a nice yellow line right here. Tough as nails intimidating uh, hero leadership aura in esteemed combatant and retinue yeah these are these are very nice all right Cetra you're up buddy boy let's uh, continue siege for a moment I'm going to bring him right here, and then I'm going to put him in raid stance. That way I don't suffer any attrition. And we're actually going to build some de siege uh, siege weapons here. We're going to build uh, four towers. Yeah. Four towers. Let's continue that siege for three turns. Oh, it's just such a nasty, nasty army. Let's just continue siege. They might try to sally out against us. We will. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see what they do. Anything else that we need to address real quick? I don't think so. Everything else looks okay. Let's continue on. I can see the Pirates of Sartosa going to war with us soon. They, they're they acting like they don't like us. Not good. Someone else I'm going to have to fight. They have pre-pieced out with the Border Princes. That has been ruined. Okay. Attend your king. Let's go ahead and toss in this uh, unit of halberds. I want to check some diplomacy. Improving. That one's good. That one's good. Bloody hands. Fine. What? Greetings. We may not be the empire. On it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, that'll work. They're improving. Greetings. No, not you. I, I'd li I would like to see if I can't keep Aranessa. No, she's just not. She's just not having it. Alright, this prince right here. See if we can't take out some people. Failure? Okay, that's fine. I'm going to put him into this stance right here. And we're 
we're just going to continue on. Clan Angren and Pirates of Sartosa. All right. As long as they don't come after me, I'm, I'm okay. As long as you don't come bother me. Don't really care. Population surplus, okay. Top knots are basically dead in the water. I don't have to worry about them anymore, it looks like. He has got his skeleton archers. Too many units right here. Okay. Let's try to take out that hero. Success, good deal. And we have gotten Righteous Killer. Lovely. Additional 6% chance. Retinue. When defending. In foreign territory. That's the one. Because this hero right here is mostly going to be staying right ahead of our armies. So that will be a good trait for him. And we'll grab another Nehekaran warrior. Or Nehekaran or Nehekaran. However you would like to say that word. Okay, 12 turns. We've got a little time. Let's go ahead and upgrade that to rank 3. I believe we have one more turn until that's done. We could... Uh, think here. No. I, I never find battering rams super useful. They don't really have a lot of units that are going to be up on the walls. They're going to get crushed. They'll have those up on the walls, but they're pretty wounded. So I'm not super worried about most of those. I mean, they're going to be up against our spearmen, which aren't exactly, you know, super threatening. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Let's just continue that siege, and we will go in on the next turn for a huge battle at the Black Tower of Arkan. I'm ready. I'm ready to take it. Ready for it to be mine. And then we'll see where we go from there. Bordelo and Pirates of Sartosa, they're just making everybody mad, aren't they? You're trying to walk in on thin water over there, aren't you, Ernessa Salt Spot? He's buggering on out of here. So is he. Skull Takers and Teeth Snatches are at war now. Okay. Happy Populous, plus four. And Wakoff has recruited the rest of his troops from up here. Wonderful. That does have one turn. Yeah, we're just going to have to go with that because I would rather have a... Uh, yeah, I would like to get a... A uh, Lich Priest up here. I believe you can only choose... I think you can only choose one of those? I honestly can't remember. We'll find out, I guess, at rank 10. Uh, what do we want? Let's just queue up some of these guys. I'm actually not going to do it there. Let's put him into regular stance. Put him in the pools of despair. And we'll do it that way. So if you, if you notice, I always queue up three from local and one from global when they're on one turn. Just because that does take two. So always have like two coming out at once. So that's that's why I do that. Uh, let's send him on over this way. I want to go check and see what's happening. In some of the other regions. I could just auto resolve this. I could just auto resolve that. But you know what? It'll be a fun battle. Let's do it. Let's just do it. I could auto resolve that and be fine, but I want to fight it. And while this is loading up, I will be right back, guys.
All right. Literal ton of water drank today. Nature called. Had to go. Okay. Let's, uh, 33 wins of magic. That is lovely. 105 power reserve. Even lovelier. Start deployment. Okay, so we have reserves coming in from back behind. Oh, look at this lovely map with that. Uh, let's just take a moment to admire. Look how nice that looks. I turned off the uh, depth of it, the depth of field, which was causing a lot of the weird blurriness around the edges. I did turn that off, so it kind of helped the graphics a bit more. That just looks fantastic right there. All right, enough uh, gushing. I do not want them in that. I'd rather have just another regular old spear infantry in there. Because I'm going to need these two guys coming up in the front. Alright, we're going to put two over there. We're going to put two over here. Although I could switch it up just a bit. There we go. And just keep, uh, have a spear and a sword on each on each flank right there. Okay, we're going to stick our archers up in the front. Uh, all of our archers, please. Thank you. Okay. Cetra and the War Sphinx and my uh, Lich Priest will go here. These two are going to be following up to go into the gates first these guys will stay back here for right now and we do have some chariots that will just kind of chill because they're not going to be needed they will probably help to deal with the Ushabti that will inevitably be summoned all right guys Cetra's army is on the ridge let's see what the view looks like from the uh, enemy encampment here lovely doesn't look like a very big army, but it's about to get a whole lot bigger. The rest of our allied forces in. Actually, we're going to put that with number two. I want all of them to go together. Yeah, they got hit by that uh, annoying tomb thing. It's fine. Let's actually get these two guys to go into that tower. Okay, reserves. Uh, actually, yeah, you're fine to go up this way. Oh, shoot. Stupid chariots. Ah. That's why I was trying to catch everybody. Oh. No, don't lose the chariots. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Okay. We are going to unload that one. We're going to put these guys in here. Maybe. Okay, I guess it's going to take them a moment to unload. Didn't realize that was going to take so long. <laughs> Whoopsies. Ah, dang it. Well, you know what? They can sit there and waste their winds of magic. I don't even give a crap. Target that, please. Oh my gosh, they're still trying to file. Okay, this was a terrible idea to do that. Uh, you know what? Just fine. Get back up in there. Just just get back in it. Whatever. I ain't got time to wait for all of that. Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to have them... Let's target those from Acropolis Knights. And we're going to have them target, let's say, those skeleton archers up top. Okay, good deal. All right. Let's get... Okay, he's almost in his tower. Come on, get back in the tower. I should never have told them to leave the tower. That was a terrible idea. Well, that's fine. We can just let the uh, let these guys keep firing for a few. Those Necropolis Knights are kind of my uh, one of my worries at the moment. Shopty's over there. That Necrosphinx is going to be a problem as well. I don't know if he can reach. He can uh, get him or not. We'll see. Apparently he cannot. That is A-OK. -okay. Oh, no, he can. Okay, he's attacking it. Tell them to attack that Tomb Guard. That Tomb Guard is a little scary as well. And we'll tell him to attack those archers. Are you finally in the towers? You're finally in the freaking towers. Okay. Let's get everybody moving. They are wrecking my archers right there. That's fine. Move all of my archers up. Move all these guys up to there. We're going to move these guys right up to the front right here. Um, I'm not going to uh, stalk these. Actually, I'm going to stalk these. We'll do that. We'll do that on those guys. Just because they are the ones that are damaged. I like how they're unspottable, but, uh, you know, they can still be attacked. That That's, that's good. Okay, let's get all of our other heroes on up here as well. Yeah, those Tomb Guard are wrecked. Tell them to keep going for that. We will tell him to go for maybe... Uh, maybe not those. Let's just go for those for Shopti, how about? Alright, archers, go to town, buddies. Witch Priests, moving on up. Move these guys on up. We'll move these guys over here. We're going to leave one there and one there. Everybody else is just in reserves, basically, at the moment. That Necrosphinx is basically my uh, biggest fear at this moment. I want them sitting right on top. Those Necropolis Knights are about to be uh, blasted into smithereens. And he's dealing with that. Good deal. Okay. You. That tower. You. That tower. You there. You there. Everybody, come say hello to these skeleton warriors over here. You say hello to them. And you're doing what you're supposed to. Everybody else is just absolutely getting shredded. Okay, that should be their third, so we should be getting hit with uh, enemy army spawn. Yep. That is what I was waiting on. Enemy gates are destroyed. Let's get in there and make a mess of the place. How about... Now the thing is, is this guy right here is anti-large. So we want Cetra to basically go for him. You 
come over here and you take care of that as well. You guys, I want you to go hit right here. You and hit me up a spell right there. You knock this out. We're just going to annihilate that Necrosphinx as fast as possible. Because I do not want them messing around with us. Oh, Josh, for a second there, I thought we lost one of them. Try to pull him out. Got that Necro Sphinx and those who shopped here are going down really, really quickly. Try to pull them out of there. Send them on down to keep attacking. Looks like we've got some guys coming in. Carry in coming in, that's all fine. Oh, uh, we can't do a whole lot more. Let's just uh, buff up Cetra so he can finish taking out that Necro Sphinx for us. Because the Kimrian War Sphinx is obviously not exactly the unit we want fighting all of that. We need to get choose our reanimate spell. Let's get Cetra up on the walls here, because that Necro Sphinx is dead, I believe. It is. Yeah, normally you don't want Lich Priests fighting, but you know it is what it is. I don't even care. Get in there and do something fun for us, buddies. I mean, there ain't a whole lot left. Okay, let's pop this. Pop this. Do some healing. We'll take out Arandis. These guys up here are making short work of what's up on the walls. Uh, all these guys are here are out of ammo, so we will pull them back. These guys have done their job and protected our caskets. These guys right here, I never even sent in. <laughs> Let's send them in, because there are some Ushapti and uh, Tomb King on cavalry up there that we can use them on. We'll send them after those Necropolis Knights. Those are crumbling. All these over here are crumbling as well. Yeah, those knights are gone. Alright, and these guys are here. We're going to send up to deal with the remainder of the command structure for these guys while these guys go and finish off the rest of what's on the walls. So let's get this right there. We'll get these guys here. Kimrian War Sphinx go on up. Save some of our uh, more elite troops right here to deal with these last two groups of Ushabti. Looks like we're just about done up on the walls. It's just a nice big attack order. Keep working our pushing our way up through there. Alright, Kimmerian War Sphinx, you can go for that. I want you all to focus on the Ushabti. I want uh, him to focus on this guy. Uh yeah, that would be fine melee and attack speed buff for everybody yeah there we go time warp and they're all disintegrating army losses the battle is won Whew. let's watch these these uh, enemy shopty fall over 
crumble into dust. Watch this last little bit of the battle. Got a bit hectic there, had a lot going on. But that was, oh, jeez, hit my microphone again. That was relatively awesome. Okay, their king is dead, he is dead. Let's fast forward to get this over with. I don't know where the Zushapi are going. They're just running away, basically. Come on. Disintegrate faster. One, three, two, one. Got him. Wonderful. Lost about 300. Not too awful bad. Some decent kills on our archers. Casket of Souls got a decent look. Got some. All right. 440 kills on that one Casket of Souls. For all you people who say Casket of Souls is a terrible unit. 440 kills that's just that's awesome right there oh look how much i can get for sacking it look how much i can get for sacking it oh that's so much money uh but it's gonna take it down even further we're just gonna occupy it guys i don't want to take it down to level two so we've got the razor standard nice where Kof dynasty has been destroyed uh, okay, I don't want that, and I don't want that. Alright. The ship has uh, upgraded here. What can we get? Oh, Lord Recruit rank plus one. That's pretty good. Keeper of Lore is good as well. Mortuary Cultus is not bad. I want to do this so our lords and heroes so our lords and stuff are better when they rank when they come out okay let's grab arcane conduit oh right and king cot has upgraded yeah i want him on a war sphinx so we're just going to hold off yeah that's what i thought okay so we get to pick one of these tomb guard and chariot units Plus two recruit rank for Tomb Princes faction wide. Minus 25 per so. Well, we're not going to be doing a shop D, so that one's kind of whatever. God of the Underworld. It's not terrible. Plus 12 per cent. Hmm. I'm probably just going to go for this right here. Yeah, we're going to go for Petra the Great Father with him. Wonderful. So that leaves us. We need one more settlement, and we just do one thing from the crafting menu, which we can go and do pretty easily. Um, we can craft some weapons and some enchanted items or some armor. Potion of strength. Yeah, let's get that. Okay, we've crafted an item. Potion of strength. We will give that to him. Good deal. Wonderful. Black Tower of Arcan is mine. Uh, Mafcatel's moving around. I don't want to go and take Gorgazon. I don't want to stretch myself up there. It's hard to get to from where my current uh, positions are at. I'm better off staying basically from Kimri south. Refugees of war with their... Oh, it's this. So, 
Uh, this is the recruit defeated legendary lords. We're just going to kill the refugees. Yeah, we're just going to kill them. It's fine. They didn't have anything I was going to want anyway, so... First Dynasty plans have been researched. Let's just go ahead and grab the uh, Ossuary Dirge and finish up that all of that research right there. Black Tower of Arkan. At rank 4, you can build the Black Tower of Arkan. Plus 2 Canopic Jars, plus 5 Order, and then a, rem a ridiculous garrison. Chase. Okay, so along with that, let's just go ahead and get some of our... We've already got a mortuary house going. I'm still just not a huge, huge fan of these things. I don't know, I'll think about it. I'm not going to build that just yet. Um, I don't really see the need in having that. And I don't really want to build the obelisk. Let's just get this upgraded first. Get that thing going. You know, I may just go ahead and do it and give it a shot. Probably going to work. No, I'm going to save my money. I'm going to save my money because I want to get up. I want to upgrade a few other things. This needs to get upgraded in six turns so I can make a uh, walls here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put an obelisk in. Sure, sure. why not? Okay, who's next? This be good. I've got some big game to hunt. He's got treaties with Talakwa. He's at war with the Dune Kingdoms. I wonder. Oh, let's go this way. Let's go check on Archon. Okay, looks like he took Eye of the Panther. Wow. He's just kind of going nuts, ain't he? Let's see what the, what's happened in the Black Pyramid. I just, I'm just curious. Oh, yeah. Look at those, look at all those armies. It's at rank 5 already. Kimri and War Sphinx, Tomb Guards, Tomb Guard with Princes. Actually, I can see it right here, what he's got. Lots of Tomb Guard, Tomb Guard with Halberds, Skeleton Spearmen, Archers, Necro Sphinx, Kimri and War Sphinx, Ushabdi, Ushabdi, and a Screaming Skull Catapult, and several lovely armies that I'm just not prepared yet. Nine turns until I can get this guy right here upgraded. I think I was just going to save this for uh, later buildings. Yeah, especially for that. I want that so bad. All right. He's rank 32, I'm rank 6. Well, let's see. Where are we going to go next? kind of want to go take Numas and kind of work my way over there because they were trespassing on me. Sudenberg wouldn't be bad. Now that with the Dune Kingdoms, kind of consolidate this way. My armies are not strong enough yet to take on Lizardmen. That is that is a definite. And I kind of want to see, honestly, if Arkan uh, beats him back or anything. He might. Let's see what strength rank Arkan is uh, compared to Talak to a uh, Tic Tac Toe. That'd be good. Something good to see. What is the difference in strength rating? Followers in Agash is strength rank 91. Oh, they've been beaten back badly. And they are at 79. They're they're not they're not nearly as good. 
And he is happy with like several of my buddies. Hmm. I'm making 143 income from him, but I'd make a whole lot more if I had his had all of his stuff. Go ahead and toss in some more archers up there in King Wyckoff's army. What else has he got? He's got engraved walls, obelisks, statuary of Kemri, royal barracks. We are so not ready, I don't think, to take on Nicolander. Which book did he have again? The Shadows one, that's right, okay. What? Alright, let's head this way. Tower of Archon. What am I going to give you in this other slot right now? Uh, horsemen and stuff are completely useless in sieges. Yeah, I really want to hurry up and get up to that, so... Sudenberg is under attack by something. Oh, it's probably the Dune Kingdoms probably have it surrounded. Yeah, because they took the Plain of Tuskers. The yeah, they did. They have it surrounded. Uh, Cetra has leveled up. Okay. Conqueror of the Past. Founder of Khimre. Restless minions. Ooh, that's that's nice right there, actually. Trampler and immortal king of Nehekra. I want restless minions. Badly. <laughs> I want that ability. I think we're gonna actually bring Cetra back, and we're gonna reform his army, get some better troops in there. Karazakarak and the Border Princes have done a military alliance. Okay, not a big deal. Military alliance between all of them, Raiding and Zandri. Black Tower of Arkan has constructed an obelisk. Go ahead and upgrade it for me, please. Cetra, get back to the tower. You are going to go this way. You... Yeah, two, four. Okay. Oh, I can only recruit one at a time, though. Mm. Okay, I'll do it this way. Kick them out. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> Fine. We'll just go ahead and recruit them all from right there. And then we will, uh, actually I'll take out a couple of spearmen, bring in some chariots into this army as well, and then we will go and trade with Cetra, clean that army up some. Ah, forgot about moving him. That's eh, fine. It is okay. I'll deal with you in a minute. Moff Cattell's moving around.
peace negotiated a bray herd those are all fine uh, the, they have constructed the crypt barracks Cetra has the engineering trait let's start moving him on up this way stick that in there um, I don't use this stance that often although I should because it does give plus 25% research rate and I'm not at the moment in a huge war mode Do not challenge me. all right let's get over let's see who do I want to go for first do I want to go ahead and take these guys And then work my way around? I'm thinking I do. I mean, it's clearly going to tick them off. I don't have any... Interesting. Towards Talakwa. Hmm. I may go ahead and go take tic tac toe out. That's what I'm thinking. I am thinking about that. I may go ahead and take tic tac toe, consolidate the rest of these lands right here, push my way across the mountains, uh, take that, then probably trespass on Thegan, take these lands over here. I mean, I would either do that before he builds up and gets... I mean, he's already got Ancient Salamanders, Razor Dawn, Hunting Packs. Oh, jeez. Red Crested Skinks. My father demands it. Okay. Onward, Legion! Uh, rights. We're going to hold th at least 3k... We might pop the the one that gives us sandstorms. All right, Sudenberg has been taken out by. The Doom Kingdoms, that's all right. The Doom Kingdoms will be taken out by me soon enough. Ossuary Dirge has been completed. I don't really want to pay the money for all those at the moment. No, not interested in any of that. Thutep is really nice, though. He is a really nice lord. This is, he's the Lushapti one, the Ushapti one, the Lamazash. Actually, this one right here would be good setup. Plus two for Lich Priests. Plus wins of Magic, plus five. I can get Lich Priests, Casket of Souls, Necropolis Knights. Yeah, let's go for the Wisdom of the Fifth Dynasty. And, um, Jesus, so expensive. Get him to hang out up there. I am going to leave him down this way near the Black Tower of Arkan because he's going to be needed here soon. Uh, Kemri still has a few turns until I can upgrade that. Our Tomb Prince has upgraded, so let's continue doing Hero. We're going to send him up towards Bel Aliad, which is relatively undefended. It's got a Lodestone, Grand Monument Plaza, Skin Cohort, Fellow Bastilladon, Saurus Warriors, Cold One Spear Riders. So it's not like a, huge, a massive garrison, but Lizardmen do, they, they are kind of rough to deal with. 
Tic-tac-toe is usually, like, destroyed pretty early on. He snowballed a little bit. I think I allowed that too. Oopsies. Oh well. Okay. Alright, etc. You chill out there. You are just going to stay in that stance right there. Uh, Cetra could actually go to this. Kind of shave off a few more turns on research. Let's try to assault that garrison. Failure. Okay, it's fine. One more turn, and he will have his two other troops, and then I can go trade out with Cetra. I do believe those are considered... No, those are considered specials. Okay. So I do need to consider that those are special units. You could have ten special units. Okay. So we don't want to fill up completely on those. I want to try to keep them even between these two, because these two armies right here are going to be the two that I use for going through and crushing the lizard men. Start with Bel Eliad and work our way around. Uh, here comes Mash One Finger again. Come down to say hello. Beast men running around. It's all fine. Servants sent. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to lose out on anything. Uh, we're losing a ton of money due to raiding. Can I get a non-aggression with you so you'll stop raiding my territory? Please. Okay, let's trade out some units here. What did that do for Cetra? Give me two Tomb Guard, two Tomb Guard with Halberds. Okay, Cetra has two, two. Yeah, that's looking a lot, a lot better right there. You hang out there. Actually, no, no, no. You come back over here. We're going to take out these two Spearmen. And we're going to grab in, um, I'm actually going to grab in Skeleton Cherry Archers, because they're the same as regular cherries, except they can shoot while moving, so that is very handy. And we're just going to uh, stash you a hero for the time being. King Kot, or no, Sephok has upgraded. We are also going to give you that one. Let's just keep trying to... Okay, he has failed yet again. Uh, pools of Despair, finally. Okay, let's upgrade you. And let's hope that the beastmen right there move on. Because I don't want to fool with them at the moment. Rather than go raid and bother somebody else. Leave me alone. But our armies are ready now in the north for an assault against the lizard men, which is awesome. All right, he has altered Camry. Don't care. Uh, let's dig elsewhere. Would love the money. And I just thought about it. I actually need my main army. That's going to be attacking to have the casket of souls so i need to go trade out 
give him the casket. Can you please succeed? Thank you very much. Hero again. So now we have plus three leadership for all armies in enemy territory. Meshep is our light priest with Cetra. He has upgraded. We were giving them onslaught. Good deal. Yeah, let's just do that. I don't even care. Uh, money, canopic jars. Money. Okay, took care of them. Lots of money now. Lots and lots of money. Be able to do some nice upgrades. Get a few things going here. Oh, what have we got? Three turns until the other Casket of Souls is available. That's fine. Never really used this in the Mortal Empires. Just never really have. And I don't get that until I get a Nehekar and Citadel built in one of my capitals. Which, that's at tier four as well. That's in turn. Land of the Dead is at population four. Uh, oh, that means Kemri can be upgraded. Good, good. Clan Moors and Numas. They might take out Numas for me. Then I have to go deal with Skaven. Ugh, I hate Skaven. Stupid Skaven. Wait, there's no such thing? What? What's Skaven? I don't know what you're talking about. Little rat man? You're crazy. All right, pools of despair. All right, Kimri, upgrade you to rank four. Let's get you some walls and let's get you a, hmm, what we want? Another barracks. Or I could build this over there. Actually, I will save up and I will build the treasure tomb in the pools of despair. Okay, you are going to take and trade that for. Eh, let's just uh, let's just trade it for another range unit. You head back down. You head this way. Yeah, you can't do it. It's fine. Yeah, you'll save up for all those. We're just going to have to kind of sit and protect the Black Tower of Archon until he's at rank 4, which is going to be a long time, obviously. Uh, because he does not get any garrison building. His garrison comes from the Black Tower of Archon. Uh, rank 4 of the Tomb City of Chemre will give a... Actually, you know what? Let's not do it just yet. Let's try to reduce the construction cost here. And I believe Cetra. Doesn't Cetra reduce construction cost? Yeah, only 5%. It's not like a lot. Yeah. Actually, no, that one, the skeletal labor one, that one's the one I want him to have. So yeah, we will move him over here and have him further reduce that. So that's going to make that pretty cheap to upgrade. That'll be good. Yeah, we're not doing that just yet. Thank you very much. Keep assaulting that garrison. Keep leveling up. 15% additional casualties. Works for me. Royal Lieutenant. Um, see, that one right there would be pretty good. Cultist Prince. Yeah, we'll take that. All right, guys. Next turn, we're going to get Kimri upgrading to rank four, finally, so we can build ourselves. Uh, what are we going to build at rank four? Probably going to start saving up for the Great Pyramid of Satra, but we are definitely going to probably build either a Royal Burial Chamber, probably the Royal Burial Chamber, give ourselves a Bone Giant. Those things are fantastic. And start our attack against these fellas over here because they're hating me pretty quickly already 
Uh, they are also disliking me for uh, military or hero actions against them. Bow before the rightful lords of the See if we can't. Uh, you know what? Let's see if we can't make them happy with us for a little bit. Can I have some money? Can I have like a lot of money? This done. Yeah. So that will help with treaties and everything that we can have with them with Baron Thegan. For the time being. He's probably not going to like us anyways. Because we're going to go to war with one of his uh, buddies right here. But I do want this territory. And I do want the mountains. So we're going to be going to war with these guys. We'll consolidate these regions. And then we will head over and finally take out Arkan. Swing back around. And betray our allies over here. And take this. And then that will have consolidated all of this from basically the great mortis river right through right here over and then we can start our land work this way we'll go down to the south we will take these areas down here work our way up and just kind of use this right here as our dividing line and take all of the uh, lands of nehekara for ourselves and then decide where to push probably push this way towards lamia uh, we might make friends with the Lizardmen. I don't know yet. We'll think about it. Uh, and then go from there. So that is the, the plan for the moment. I'm sure it will change because this is Total War and that's what happens. Hope you have enjoyed. Leave a like down below. Subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, guys.